friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with a tea break. Well, we made it through Christmas and with no anger and no fibro flares. Isn't that amazing? I, I did things differently this year. I took my time and I didn't kill myself. I did a lot of baking and my waistline shows it. I bet you I haven't, I haven't, I haven't replaced the battery in my scales because I'm afraid to. <laughs> I bet you I put on at least 10 pounds. Now, what's going to happen from here on out is we're going to have some, pan well, from here till the end of January, there's going to be a lot of tea breaks, some lives, pantry pool meals, and projects. I have three trees to undecorate and take down, and my ornaments were in shocking disarray this year because I let Howie take the main tree down last year, and there's a lot of broken ornaments and ornaments that weren't wrapped and all kinds of stuff, so I have to reorganize that this week as I take all the decorations off the main tree. And uh, trust me, there's like four boxes and everything's mixed in and I've gotta, I've gotta reorganize everything. And I think next year I may only put up the big YouTube family Christmas tree. I may not put up the little one, we'll see. But, you know, I, I wanna tell you too, I got, I was spoiled rotten in the greeting card exchange, okay? I got like 27 packets of seeds. And yes, you see hollyhocks. I'm going to try them again this year. I got two different kinds of hollyhocks. So thank you so very much for your generosity with, um, some people sent more than one. Some people sent four or five packages. You're only supposed to send one package so that, but if you can send more, that's beautiful too, right? That's all up to you, but at least you just have to commit to one, right? And um, 2024, the greeting card exchange is actually going to be handed over to somebody who has volunteered to do it, um, to, to organize all the names because she knows how to do, um, word spreadsheets and stuff like, like spreadsheets and stuff like that. And I'm no good at it. So hopefully, um, the next year's seed exchange will go a lot smoother. Um, it gets a little smoother every year, doesn't it? It really does get a little smoother every year. And let me see. I'm already planning my garden. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to plant a plant a zucchini, um, a zucchini box, but I'm certainly not planting four this year. And if you remember, I planted carrots and only had one bed of carrots actually produced because I had to transplant some. And uh, my watermelons did okay, but not great. So I don't know what I'm going to do this year, but I do know I am going to stick to staples. Like, you know how I had four, four, um, the bean beds at the back and they were so, so crowded with vines that it was really actually difficult for the bees to get in there and do more beans. So I may add, um, I may add another box or two of beans because they are a, a staple. So all I know this year is I'm planting cabbages, leeks, celery, and tomatoes and beans. Those are my five staples. Celery. Okay, let's think about this. What are my five staples that I plant every year? Celery, leeks. I don't know about onions this year. Celery, leeks, cabbages, beans, tomatoes yeah those those are my those are my those are my staples yeah i know i'm kind of all over the place but i'll tell you what it's gonna be a good one i'm already looking forward to it but this year i am not starting my seeds until mid to the end of february because last year i was like having to transplant over and over again and i saved those pudding cups that I was going to use as bells over lights. And I saved those pudding cups for seeds. And I'm getting on the 12th of January, I'm getting these four teeth and this ta tooth taken out. So I'm going to be eating pudding for a few days. So I'm going to save those cups for seedlings. Somebody gave me a really great idea of that. 
it's a whole new year coming. I want to raise. I want to raise the tiers of the uh, vegetable beds if we can. I'd like to plant some more fruit trees. It's all. It's all going to happen in God's time. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, until February, we're going to be doing tea breaks, live streams, the occasional project, and pantry pool meals. That's, you know, because January is a really, really slow month when it comes to uh, ad revenue. But it's also a, a month that I need to get my stuff together. It's like November. Only now it's January and I have to get everything ready for the new year to come with seedlings and all that fun stuff. All right. So this is the Mrs. Volfi from our half acre homestead saying, hope everybody's got their seeds ready. The only thing I didn't get that I should have was potting soil, but I'll be buying that soon. All right. Not too soon or I won't be able to help myself. Oh, and Howie gave me some beautiful cactuses for Christmas and I'm going to be redoing my cactus garden. And I'm hoping to get a nice big planter and put all of my Christmas cactuses in one planter. Because I think, and I think I know how to take them um, out of my dad's teapot without breaking it. That'll be a project. This is Mrs. Volfi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I appreciate your patience. Um, January is usually my month off, but you're still going to get videos. I, I'm just not going to be, uh, I'm going to be busy clearing the house, getting the house ready for spring. So have patience with me. All right. I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Mwah. Take care. God bless.